What is going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today is Tuesday. That means it's time for the weekly Nightfall Strike Solo. A video series I haven't done in a little while, but I'm glad to be back with. Uh, we're doing it on the Nexus Strike on Venus. Uh, I like this strike. It's a very quick strike and we've got a very favorable set of modifiers. We've got epic, heavily shielded, and highly aggressive enemies appear in great numbers. Nightfall, obviously, if all players die, your fire team is returned to orbit. Void burn, void damage from any source is greatly increased. That's going to be great for the beginning of the strike. Dangerous for the end of the strike. Angry, minions of the darkness won't flinch even after massive damage. And juggler, no ammo drops for your equipped weapon, which shouldn't be too bad for us. So let's launch this up, and I'll see you guys when we land. All right, now that we've landed, why don't we uh, check out the weapons that I'm using as well as I'll give you guys some weapon recommendations if you're looking for them. Uh, I'm using a Hunter, so I do not have a Void Grenade, which is unfortunate. I'm using the Gunslinger class. I've maxed it out for uh, the most possible health, uh, which hopefully will help us help us out here. Uh, I'm using Atheon's Epilogue. If you don't have this weapon, it is an awesome weapon for this. It does Void damage as a primary. If you don't have that, I'm going to switch up my heavy weapon recommendation. If you do have it, definitely use it. For my secondary, I'll be using a Void Burn Sniper Rifle. The one I'll be using is Praetis Revenge. You don't have to use this one. Uh, I'd be tempted to use LDR 5001, uh, but I don't have it maxed out yet. But this is a very good sniper rifle uh, that is available for purchase at the tower. I would highly recommend it. And I'll be using Truth, which isn't maxed out yet, unfortunately for me. Uh, but... If you don't have Atheon's Epilogue, I would recommend going with a Void Damage Heavy Machine Gun, something like Against All Odds here. Uh, if you do have Atheon's Epilogue, a rocket launcher makes this a little bit easier. It's easier to take out Minotaurs especially by just firing rockets at them as opposed to having to sustain fire with a machine gun. So even if you decide to use a heavy machine gun for the beginning of the strike and then switch it up kind of halfway through once you start running into minotaurs that's probably a good way to go so let's get into it now the first thing i'm gonna do is run over to these two rooms here and check for spirit bloom because ever since the dark below expansion came out i've needed more materials oh there's some right there i'm just gonna check to see if there's a chest in here there's not in there nope uh, ever since the Dark Below expansion came out, I have been reticent to use Vanguard marks on materials. Oh, nice, we got a chest as well. Vanguard marks on materials because I've been buying so much armor and weapons. So I've been back to material farming, which is my least favorite activity inside Destiny because basically just involves running in circles looking Picking for materials. So this is our first encounter. What we're going to do is just jump up here, use this little thing as cover, and try and kill all these guys before they even make it down these stairs. And then, we're going to huck a grenade down here, and try and take these guys out as quickly as possible as well. Didn't quite get them. I got a little concerned about my health there, so I'm going to retreat. This is going to be our safe spot for this entire encounter. You can do there or there, uh, but I find that the bullets from the Reavers will wrap around a little bit too often and cause some troubles. So I like to uh, use that back area if I can. See, our first Servitor has spawned. He spawned in the room up the stairs. It's unfortunate. I'd much rather see him spawn in the room to our right. Over there is a much better spawn for that servitor because it's much easier to fire rockets in there. You tricksy little bastard. Alright, I'm gonna run up here, pick up some ammo. And we're gonna see. Can't do a little damage. Whoa, boy! <laughs> Guy stops firing at me. 
love to put another rocket in there, Adam. Man, he's got a hard on for killing. There we go. That should weaken him up enough. Whoa. Oh, that guy scared me. He's already dead, though. This is not the most optimum place to be. You can use these crates as cover. I would much prefer the spawn on the other side of the map. It's so much easier. But, uh... The problem is that railing just is always in your way. And the hit detection on the railing is bigger than you think it should be. So once that first servitor is dead, we're going to retreat because the second servitor will spawn as well as a captain from over there. And that captain is dangerous. We don't want to mess with that guy. Uh, he was super dangerous when arc damage was turned on because his melee did arc damage. Uh, but he's still very dangerous and he's got a ton of health. Uh, so much so that with the four shots I have for my golden gun, I cannot take him down. It takes more than that, which is crazy to me. He's a real beast. So he is our primary focus right now. I don't even care about the Servitor as much. If the Servitor starts blocking that doorway, I'll take him out. But I'm much more concerned about the Captain right now. And the Servitor is dangerous. Don't be... I mean, he's doing void damage, so... He was just standing there, so I decided to take him out. But the captain is definitely my primary concern right now. So that my health regen a little bit. Ouch. <laughs> And as you can see, I'm running low on ammo, so I'd like to take that captain out before I actually have to come out for ammo. So I'm going to soften him with the golden gun. And hopefully my primary can eat the rest of them up. Nope. Stuck behind cover. Look at that shield. The shield is tough as nails. There we go. That captain is rough. Gotta be very careful of him. Alright, so we've got two servitors destroyed. We gotta find the third one. He's normally, yeah, right over there. Uh, and I'm going to snipe him if he's just gonna sit there like an idiot. Pop him one more time. All right, and we should okay, the upper level's open. be good here. Going to be careful of these Reavers that are going to spawn in that door. They're going to come down this balcony. I just want to clean these guys up. And then I will just take a walk around the area and search for ammo and engrams. Let's see if I can actually shoot this guy. Alright, there's probably going to be a ton of stuff in this room here. See some rocket ammo. Some primary. Awesome. That's all this good stuff right there. That's the good stuff. Eat it up. Alright, for this next room, if you've ever watched me do this before, I like to use the rocket launcher and a grenade. I use my grenade on those guys. And a rocket launcher upstairs. 
And the rest of the stuff I'll clean up with my primary. This room is probably the most annoying part of the strike. <laughs> Just using this doorway as cover is a pain in the neck. Because everybody's firing at it. But you don't have another entrance. Is that it? wasn't too bad let's move on this is basically where we're gonna start transitioning over to vex enemies the uh, last of the fallen enemies will be kind of in this corridor down here I like this strike I think it's a fun strike it's quick I'm detecting a massive it's high action man I'm getting a ton of heavy drops I wish I had those old raid boots that could carry more heavy ammo. It was a bummer losing those boots. And I still haven't gotten the new raid boots from uh, Protozen. Hopefully I'll get those. I think I'll probably be doing Protozen tonight. So hopefully I'll pick them up on my Hunter tonight. I'm not sure if I'll be doing it on my Hunter or my Titan though. Depends on what my raid group needs. All right, uh, we have a couple or three harpies down here that have massive shields. These guys can mess you up, so use this uh, railing as cover. They like to hide. Harpies are annoying. This next room can be dangerous if you're not careful. I like to use a grenade to soften those guys up. Uh, goblins aren't particularly dangerous, but those ones over there are because they're doing void damage. Try and take those guys out quickly. Uh, you can see there's some hobgoblins over there that you also have to be concerned about. Take out these hobgoblins. There's another terrible grenade. Alright, and there are a couple of minotaurs down there that you also have to be very concerned about. And you want to take them out quick before their shields come back. But they're doing void damage. Still haven't taken out this goblin. There we go. And I think we're good. So. That's about it for this area. Knowing where these enemies are is the key to this little area. Because you can die here very easily. Around this corner, there's another bunch of goblins. Pretty easy to take out with void damage. Just crit them. Alright, so this next area normally is very easy. On any other strike difficulty, you just kind of lay waste to these guys. But when you're doing this solo on the nightfall, be careful here. These guys will take you out. There's so many of them. And if you run out of ammo, <laughs> you're not going to be happy. Damn it. That was bad planning right there. Is there any more? Alright, hopefully they drop some ammo for me. Very good. Alright, so we are at the final boss. Last time 
I did it from the cave. I fought the Minotaur that shows up every minute or two here. Uh, this time I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to go to the edge of the cave, take out the Minotaurs that are already down there, and then I'm going to use a cheese spot that's up high. So let's take out these Minotaurs. There should be two of them right there. There's one over there. Oh, and I just missed this one. There we go. Ah! Come on, you bastard. There we go. Was that a miss? No, 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 go back in there! Damn it. Come back out. Come on, buddy. There he is. Alright, now this is a speed thing here. You can see those Minotaurs are firing at us. We're gonna jump up to here. And we're gonna quickly jump up to here and try and get behind cover as quickly as possible. All right, and we're not out of danger here. Those Minotaurs will mess us up in a hurry if we let them. So we're gonna take them out as safely as we can from up in cover. Obviously you can use your radar to kind of figure out where they are. But as you can see, they, they just take out massive health on you because their void burn rockets are just nasty. like right in front of me. There he is. I'm just gonna wait for my health. It's all about being careful here. Once we've taken down these Minotaurs, that's when the Nexus will actually spawn in. Again, if you don't have Atheon's epilogue, be using your heavy machine gun or rocket launcher on those guys. Where is he? Oh, he's like right below me. Look at that. It's opening. Whoa! <laughs> that is an awkward spot. I don't think we had to worry about him now that the Nexus is out. Look at that shit. <laughs> Alright, so now that Nexus is out, we're just gonna fire on him. Being very careful not to take damage. He does void damage. He does it quick. You can see, I got two shots off there, and he's already on me. If you have a Titan here, it's a great time for a bubble shield. And I'll be using... I don't think I have my... Oh, I do. That's awesome. So what I'm actually going to do is... You know what? I'll just use heavy ammo synthesis. It'll be quicker. I'm waiting for that thing to... Cool. Ah! It didn't work! That is such a pain. Oh, I used fusion rifle analysis, that's why. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that's funny. Hello, I'm back. Just wait for him to kind of relax a little bit. Void damage sniper on this guy does massive damage very quickly, so 
this is really the reason you want to bring that. See, his splash damage will get you a little bit. Looks like I got a Minotaur over here. Oh, no. It's a goblin. This can be done straight. You can use that area up there. I did that in the past on a nightfall. And I will tell you, it's much harder than using the cheese, though. <laughs> Obviously. Alright. Let's see if we can't get a couple shots off here. That was productive. Oh boy. I don't like being that low on health, I'll tell you that much. There we go. You want to be really careful using rockets here. Obviously it would be easy to kill yourself. Let's see if our uh, synthesis is done yet. No, we still got two minutes. Oh, we got somebody coming at us from the side over there. Basically, I'm just, <laughs> I aim, and then I start looking at my uh, health bar. Uh, and as soon as I take any damage, I back off. If you're getting harassed by those mobs over there, you can just duck right here, and they leave you alone. Not a big deal. This is a great G spot. Whoops. Let's see how we're doing on uh we just got a minute left. Uh, just about the time we run out of ammo on our head primary. Whoa, boy! That was quick. I think he must have hit me directly with one. Right about the time I'm done hit shoot this primary, that should be ready. Alright, how are we doing here? 39 seconds. We can deal with that. While I'm waiting. Tuck a grenade at him. Did I get him? Nope. Twenty seconds. Let's try a knife. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, seven seconds. Let's take this down. This ought to get us the rest of the way. Damn. He's in a bad spot for me. It's hard to get to him. Oh, look at all that juicy ammo. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pop. 
guessing one more round ought to get him. Wonder what I'll get a drop as a drop for Nightfall this week. I've been getting bad drops. It used to be almost in a guaranteed exotic, I feel like. But now it's like getting strange coins. Boats of light and shit. It's baloney. Whoa, don't want to die now. Spies he's in is tough to get to. Well, no, as long as we're careful, we should be okay. There he goes. All right. Uh, sometimes after I kill him, the mobs don't despawn. So before you jump down. Let's take a look around. One tendril of the Vex surge has been set, but their presence here still grows. In other dark places, far out of our reach, we must continue to understand their power and haunt the realms where they gather. All right, that was pretty good. I like how Eris is now doing the uh, voiceover work. That's cool. That was Eris, right? Or was that the? I don't know who it was. Story. <laughs> All right, I want Hawkmoon. I really do. That is what I'm hoping for. Hawkmoon. Hundred and thirty-two kills. What do I get? Is what the hell is that? The devil you don't. As a crappy gun. <laughs> it's a crappy gun. Oh, that's too bad. It's got a five-round magazine. <laughs> One random bullet in the magazine causes considerable bonus damage. This weapon has bonus accuracy when firing from the hip. Oh, that's that's not a good gun. That is not a good reward. <laughs> I hope you guys get a better reward. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I hope you guys get a Hawkmoon. Bye.